So it seems like today everyone's trying to get into content creation or even start their own podcast. The good news is anyone can. The thing is you got to think about your equipment. Do you go expensive, medium, or super cheap? Well, Mayano brings in their Mayano Caster E2 single mic bundle with great sound, plenty of options, and some good flexibility. But is it right for you? Well, we're going to find out right now. Up next. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Low for Low Nose Tech with another tech review. And today, like I said, it's the Manocaster E2 single mic bundle. Now, I've reviewed their previous bundle before. I, I think it's the E1. It was a really good device. You know, it sounded good. A lot of great, plenty of options. Connect to your cell phone, connect a whole bunch of devices. It was a nice, really cool, flexible little device, but it did have some shortcomings that I wish they addressed. And it seems like they addressed it with the E2 bundle. So let's actually uh, take a look at this. Uh, first, let's actually see what you get when you get this. Uh, first, you'll get the microphone with a stand and also a pop filter in the front as well. This is a condenser microphone. Uh, you get your manual caster E2 as well, uh, plenty of options. And your accessories, you get an extremely long headset. I got this thing coiled up. I feel like this thing probably goes like 20 feet. I'm exaggerating, but you get a very uh, long uh, headphone. You get a, a USB-C to USB USB-C to USB-A cable, and you get two 3.5 millimeter uh, TRRS cables. These are the three ring cables, uh, so you can connect it to like your smartphone, um, your computer, or any kind of or, or tablet to to funnel either audio, music, or even a uh, chatting. Uh, when you're making a phone call. So those are your options that come with it. Just these three cables and of course your headphones. Now let's take an actual closer look at our um, at our Mano Caster E2 at our Mano Caster E2 and let's start with the back first. I'll flip the video over, but here you've got your power button. Just hold that up for a couple seconds and that'll actually turn it on. Let's line it up. All right, you've got your light button to turn the lights on and off. Uh, you have a DC power where you can just charge and power this. You can't, this is wireless. You can actually go anywhere with it and just, it holds a, a charge. Uh, your USB-C, this is where it can also provide power to the manual caster. Um, but at the same time, it gives you a direct connection to your PC or your laptop so you can record and also uh, uh, bring sound in and out of it from there. You have your output live one and two. Uh, here you can actually connect your your smartphone and actually record phone calls or communicate with phone calls from these points. Uh, so if you wanted to do like a, let's just say like a caller number one or a caller number two and have that kind of interaction, if someone's actually calling on a, on a smartphone, I'm not sure if that still happens. Maybe it's a, another Zoom connection. You have that option to communicate back and forth with these connections um, or just kind of funnel sound into these as well. Again, it's, it's just going to become your, get to your creativity. Uh, your, you have your monitor speaker. We can actually connect this to it, either an, addition, an external speaker, or you can connect this to an external recorder like I have right now that's going to record everything that's happening here. We have an aux in, additional, and an additional audio source coming in to feed the manual caster. You have a mic too. Now this is just a 3.5 millimeter stereo jack. So you're going to have to find a microphone that, that will supply, um, that will, that'll fit into this input, or you'd have to actually get creative and have a, your XLR mic go into a device that'll actually give you that input. Uh, really cool, your mic settings. You can actually uh, give 48 phantom volts to a regular condenser. And also you have two settings for a dynamic microphone for 50 dBs and 60 dBs. Uh, in the future in this video, uh, we'll go ahead and we'll power on the Shure SMB. And yes, I'll tell you right now, this will power your Shure SM7B. You have an instrument port, uh, for music instruments, and of course you have your uh, your XLR port for your microphone. Uh, also with the also with your main Ocasio, you do get an instruction manual to explain to you everything, uh, how everything works here, and also you get a little cheat cheat sheet cheat sheet on how to connect your main Ocasio. It once you kind of get the initial drift on how to connect it, it just really comes to your imagination on how it all uh, sets up. But let's actually so let's take a look what we're actually looking here. Uh, what we're looking at here. Uh, right here, you have your aux dial for your volume. This takes in the, this adjusts the volume of the aux signal that's coming in from the aux port. Uh, you have your low, mids, and high that you can uh, adjust with with your microphone. You have your instrument volume. You can change your pit from a low voice to a high voice. Uh, and of course, you have your monitor that your monitor out that affects the, uh, the levels of the monitor that's going out either for your headphones or the actual main mix or whatever is going to your recorder. This is what affects the, the, those audio, those levels. Then you have your output uh, 
Max, this is specifically for uh, the USB port. When you're actually connecting this to your, your laptop or your computer, this will affect the main mix going into your laptop or your, or your PC. Moving over to the left, we have our faders for our mic one and mic two. We have our 48 phantom volts right here, our, Blue, our Bluetooth sync pad. We have our sound pad right here where we have uh, three, A, B, and C. This will give you one minute of record time. You can actually store one minute of recordings on A, B, and C. You have your loop where it'll keep on looping these recordings. Then you have four, you have eight going on right here. This gives you 20 seconds. So you can think of it as, as maybe like your, 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 your sound effects, like pa, sing, whoa, you know, kind of a sound effects that you can uh, install right there. Further on, I'll show you how to actually uh, get effects going on to that. Uh, moving more, moving right here, this is your reverb column, but it's th first we'll start off with your pad volume. This is just the volume of the pad effects coming from here. Then we have our depth, with uh, which affects the um, the duration, no, no, the, the echo, the strength of the echo, the reverb coming from your microphone. And then you have your decay time, which affects the, the length of time uh, that your echo uh, or reverb lasts. You have a reverb presets, your side chain, Again, we'll go, go all, over all of this. Your side chain, your music only, your dry wet, your loop back, and denoise. All right, so that's an overview of this. Let's actually see what this microphone sounds like. So let's turn it on. And there we go, it powers up. Very pretty. And I wish there was a way where I could have all these lights on as I'm using this, but well, you know, there you go. All right, so let's go ahead and turn this the 48 fan volts on and all right. Okay, so let's bring this up close. All right, and make sure we get, a, get it nice and sweet. All right, and this is our first, this is your first test of what it sounds like using the condenser microphone microphone of the Mayono Caster E2 on this uh, setup using the 48 volts uh, going on uh, right here. So we'll use this for a bit and I'll start showing you uh, so you can actually start hearing what this uh, little boy can do. All right, so let's uh, let's go back to the top. Let me actually Valley. let me set my reverb mm. to standard original. Original. There we go. All right. Uh, so again, we have our low and our mid and our highs. Right. We can actually add some lows to our uh, our sound. We can get rid of the highs. So we can get really low. And you can really uh, do this to dial it in, or actually get, get a little more clarity uh, within your voice with this section. But we'll leave that as normal. Instrument panel. I don't have any instrument devices right now. But if you had a guitar or or something else. You can play with the levels of the instrument going in. Now we have our pitch where you can actually make a low voice such as like that and bring it all the way up to a very high squeaky little voice like an elf. So you have that immediate control with this. And of course you have your monitor. We can actually raise the volume or lower the volume with our main monitor. But, but like I said before, I'm using my external recorder to record all of this right now. Oh, I kind of miss it. Uh, you do have the audio tune uh, that's happening uh, right here as well. So if I just press it, a major. We now have a sense. So we now can go through the different auto tune keys to actually see the effect that we can have. There, there you go. Um, that's your out of tune. If I hold it, I'll turn it off. Original. There we go. We go back to a, a original. Uh, we, of course, we have our faders that we said showed earlier. Uh, Bluetooth. We will connect our Bluetooth. Where's my phone? Oh, there we go. Let's do a real sync up right now with the with the Bluetooth. And we can see our Mano Caster E2 right there. You can bring it in. Connected. Connected, there we go. Uh, and now let's just find something to play. All right, so now we're streaming music from my smartphone to the Mayo Caster E2 using a Bluetooth connection that we just uh, synced up to. Uh, really simple, and of course, I have the ability to actually, I can adjust the volume. Of course, the volume coming from my my phone. Now let's get to these. Uh, let's get to the, oh my phone's about to die, but let, let's get to these sections right here. So we have the side chain. What the actual what the side chain does is it ducks the volume of the the audio source when I'm talking. So if I turn it on, side you'll see on. that the vo the music actually it's it, it it kind of brings itself down until I stop talking. It'll come back up. All right. Then at the same time, if I had music with lyrics, I can do the music only. What that will do, well, what that will do is take out the, the the center channel where the vocals are, and it'll try to reduce that so you can kind of get like a karaoke karaoke esque uh, kind of sound. Let me pause that. All right. Then we have our dry wet button. What this does is any kind of audio source that is coming into the device, if you just press this, what it will do is it will just single out just the voice. 
everything else will stop uh, being sent or recorded from there and it'll just be the actual, just your voice. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then we have the loopback. Loopback is for uh, the PC. So you can actually have the audio that's playing on the PC come back and we'll, I'll show you what that looks like. And of course you have your denoise who actually reduces the background noise. Noise canceling off. That is happening there. I like to leave it on. It's up to you, but this is what it is. Noise canceling on. All right. Uh, let's take a look at the reverb sets. So right here, Major. when I go with my uh, the depth, you can actually hear the reverb happening right now, and I can actually play with the delay, the decay time, as you can see right there. So and then we can actually Original. try the different church hall, the different reverb uh, settings. So we'll just go ahead and put it back to normal. Original. There we go. Original. I'll bring that off. Now we have our custom buttons, and I'm going to show you real quick how to do this. It's really simple. You're going to hold down the button. Actually, we may have to clear it, clear it out first. All right. Yeah. I'm going to clear it. All right. So when it's slowing, when it's you get the two slow beeps or the, the slow pulses, that means the record mode. So it's actually recording this right now. So I'm going to stop. And it will play. All right. So when it's slowing, when it's you get the two slow beeps or the, the slow pulses, that means the record mode. So it's actually recording this. And there you go. And you can do this with either speaking into a microphone or again, uh, um, running audio into it. And again, you got A, B, C, you can add that as well. And then when you do A and the loop back, right. it'll so keep looping that when effect nonstop over and over again. Again, just as a review, one minute effects over here, 20 second effects down here. All right, so right now you've got a good sense of what this microphone actually sounds like. Um, let's see what it sounds like. Let's see what the setup looks like when we actually connect it to our laptop. Our laptop. Now I'm gonna give you a little forewarning. Uh, from my experiences, whenever I would connect any USB microphone to my laptop, it would always make it sound not good. So I've been forced to do microphone reviews on my actual computer and not my laptop. So you know what it sounds like now, Let's actually uh, go right there and see what that looks like. All right, so let's, okay, that's connected. Uh, now, to, let, let's really full, uh, set this thing up. Of course, you have your DC input as well. We're gonna take this battery pack right here and we're also gonna plug that in to kind of give you a sense that, hey, you know, we're going fully wireless. We've got no external power. No, we're not, we're not really connected to a, a main power source. So we're gonna use this portable power uh, back uh, just so you can see how much you can connect this up. Uh, and then I'm going to take this cord and we're going to uh, connect my my smartphone to this device as well. Okay, and we're going to plug this into output number one. And before we do the, the computer test, let me give you a really quick test of what it uh, looks like uh, actually making a phone call. So I'm going to call my wife. First call on a million dollar call. What? <laughs> hey, love, I'm doing a, you're on with low nose tech and I'm just doing a quick, uh, uh, audio test. Are you on Codex? Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> so yeah. So can you guys hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Yes. And everyone can hear you guys as well. All right. Well, thank you so much for the, uh, for the, for the opportunity. I just want to show everyone what we can do, what you can do with this. Okay, thank, right, you. thank you. Bye. Right. Simple as that. All right. All right. So let's continue uh, moving on with um, connecting this to our computer. I'm going to bring up Audacity to record everything. Okay, you can see we got our mano caster there. And then let's bring up. Um... No. All right, so I'm going to press record. And yeah, this is what it sounds like. Um, uh, the mano caster connected to my laptop. Again, I'm not sure if it's, it's going to hold uh, the same audio quality, but. Uh, there you go. And of course, you have your your minus and your max that affects uh, uh, the levels when recording uh, to this thing. Uh, but I'm still recording to my external recorder as well. Now, 
We can also, let's do the loop back. Right now I'm gonna play music from my laptop. When it comes to the actual recording of the laptop, as you can see, it's not picking up the music that's coming from the laptop. But as soon as I press loop back, we're now gonna see that we're gonna get audio. Oh, I got the dry wet on. There we go. And you can see how we're getting slight levels uh, going into our recorder uh, for it. I'm sure once it picks up, we'll get bigger levels. There you go, so pretty straightforward. Let me stop that right there. And also stop the recording on this uh, as well. And we'll go back to our main recorder. Now, uh, one thing that I wanna give you guys a heads up on um, is that if you really want to connect your cell phone or your smartphone to your own entire device for this recording, uh, it's not going, if, if you have this, if your smartphone connected to, of course, to the, the, the out live port, and then it connected to the, to the PC, it's not going to record the actual phone call happening on here. It will record your voice that's going into the microphone, but it won't record uh, the other callie, caller from there. So just keep that in mind. You may want to have everything go to a main source, such as if, if that's what you want to do, then you may want to have it go to a au separate audio recorder and the out of the audio recorder or the USB out of the audio recorder go into the computer uh, so you can have like a, a separate master recording, but that's why you're using the audio recorder. So, I, you know, I'm just kind of giving you a heads up on that. Of course, you'd probably be doing phone calls on the computer, such as Zoom for that. Okay, so one more, uh, one more test. Like I said before, we have a Shure SMB um, uh, Gain Hungry Microphone. We're going to have... Uh, connect this and you're going to see how well the powers this microphone. So let's get straight to that. Original. All right. So here we go. Um, off the bat, in my ear, it sounds like a way better sound. Of course, we're using a way further, uh, a, way, a way better microphone. But yeah, we, we do have uh, uh, that option where you can connect the high quality microphone to the Manocaster E2. And there you go. All right. So let me give you my final thoughts on this because uh, I know this has been a long review. Uh, the the, the Manocaster E2 is a very capable podcasting piece of equipment. Uh, the microphone sounds pretty good, decent. You do have the option to connect any kind of XLR microphone to this. You've got so much flexibility for the amount of things that you can connect to it. Uh, audio devices, Bluetooth devices, laptops, external, you know, tablets, anything with an audio source that's coming in and out, you can connect this to this. Uh, and you have the option to connect, um, um, additional, uh, microphone as well. I kind of missed this. You have the option to connect two headphones if you have a, a party going on. And of course you have plenty of options and custom, uh, buttons as well. Um, yeah, overall, uh, I, yeah, I like it. I think from the previous version, they really did upgrade. Um, if I do have any complaints, if there's one thing that I have to kind of pick up, pick on with a manual caster, um, it is this, uh, I'm gonna have to switch microphones, but I'm not, I'm, uh, I'm not sure if you heard it previously before. So let me connect it again. Okay. If there's one thing I got to say, it's that this microphone I don't know what it is, but the shock mount is not really doing anything or the microphone is very sensitive to vibrations. You hear that? It's like, it's like, it's just, you gotta be careful. Th this has to be like not in the line of being touched or, or, or whatever. Why, why am I sounding like that? It really sounds like I'm starting. To... Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. It's, 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 it's really sensitive when it comes to that for some reason. So that that would be my, that would be my only thing. But aside from that, yeah, the manual caster really, uh, give it a look, especially if you're really trying to get into podcasting, if you're really looking for a, uh, a device that'll power and a condenser microphone, uh, that gives, uh, that does give you the phantom power. Uh, you, yeah, uh, definitely take a look at this. I'll leave links in the description down below so you can check it out. Let me know what you think about it. If you like this, yay, no. Yay or nay? What questions do you have about the Manual Caster E2 single mic bundle? And that's about it, guys. Hope you uh, hope you found this video helpful. Make sure to leave a like. Make sure to subscribe, and also crack that bell button, guys. I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.